Bowman. Here. Tom Elkenfuchs. Here. Brian Kurtz. Here. And I am here and we have a quorum. Okay, uh, the approval of the agenda. Need a motion. I Judge. make a motion. We approve it as written. I see we have a few other things we're going to talk about, but that's good. But okay. What Sue's got down, I think it's fine. I'll second it. Motion on the floor and a second. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, ayes have it. Okay, the minutes of the last meeting. Uh, I didn't see anything that I noticed to be changed. Did anybody pick up anything? Uh, only the little dab when Phil was missing at the meeting and he got to close the meeting. I think he come in. Oh, okay. And I show him that. No, no big that. deal. Yeah, <laughs> he wasn't there when he closed the meeting. Yeah. I'm just picking on Sue a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll vote to approve the minutes. A motion on the floor to approve the minutes. Do I have a second? I have a second. Second. All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? The ayes have it. Okay, Treasurer's report, so. The only two bills I have outstanding is one for Tom Oakenfuss and then the other one for Norm. Okay. And I handed out like December, January, and February's report since we haven't been here. And our ending balance as of February 28th in the checking was $233,010.21. So we've gotten a lot, quite a bit of a new money in. Um, yeah, like the biggest one is our tax deposit in January was like 113,000. This was 12 again. Yeah. 125, 125, six or so. Yeah. Uh, we usually run right at 140. 140, okay. So there's some delinquent yet. No, I'm in good shape. Yeah. yeah, I know what one is. <clears throat> okay, so let's see that. So we just got two bills there. September. Only two. Talk about them for a few months until yeah. September. Yeah. Oh, wasn't one oh, yeah. I don't have no problem with them. Uh, Set the bills, the pay the bills as presented. Mm -hmm. I'll second the motion. Any further discussion? Not, uh, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? The ayes have it. Aye. Put me down. <laughs> <laughs> okay, old business. I got we got one thing on our old business uh, from the levy inspection. We have to do a pipe inspection sometime this year on our uh, some of our relief wells that are out of date. And now, uh, so um, <coughs> we'll get with that. I believe it was uh, Jeremy Humphreys up there at the Corps of Engineers, and now uh, see which ones they need. 
but uh, I know they brought that up during the inspection in December. That we got to do it. What uh, company do we have do them? Uh, well, they sent me a list of different ones that, that do that inspection, but uh, we had that somebody. That doesn't cover that. That the water when we test, tested how much water we could get. They have to do a visual inspection on. Well, they were the water that so time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so. I'll get more information on that to know. How many of them we have to test? So, uh, I thought it was five, it might be 10. Okay. Uh, I think it's but it's just an inspection. Uh, I think we've already done all of our test, uh, uh, pump tests uh, on all of them. Pisometers? Yes. Yeah. Them should be finished, but is that just a camera? <coughs> yes. Scope? Yes. Run down and scope yeah. it or whatever? Yeah. Till that was my understanding of it, but I'll get back with them and uh, find out about that. Okay. Um, so I'll have that information next meeting. Okay. Anything else under old business? Uh, any word on when we're going to maybe let some of that rock, putting that rock down? And I, any, can, any word I can do it any time. Okay. Um, I, Last year, everybody was just busy. Before everybody gets too terribly yeah, busy, yeah. maybe it's a good time to get it started. Yeah. Probably, well, this is March, so if we put it out this month and into next month, I don't know, we don't want to really do it before May, do we? With all the moisture in the ground? By the time you get your bids in and yeah. get people to start on it, depending on the weather, yeah. if the weather's right, yeah. We're probably going to put rock there anyway off of that palm. So when yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to be pulling stuff off the there. The moisture shouldn't affect us much. As a matter of fact, it'll make us probably More get a compact. little better bid because not yeah. everybody's so not busy. Not everybody's so busy. Yeah, okay. They can do work in the Later, they're going to be asphalt, well, and yeah. then we can't get trucks. Yeah. I'll, I'll work on uh, putting that uh, bid together. Uh, later this week and I'll get it try and get it out next week okay um, do you well you got to specs on it or what all do you have you written up on? yes yeah I've got all the specs and, um, and enough diagrams um, to show or you, you need a walkthrough yeah well, I always do a walkthrough okay with any bids down there's a there. walk you're gonna make a walkthrough yeah. mandatory yeah okay and I'm going to make a vibratory uh, roller compactor, mandatory yeah. too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't know how to show it, but we need to taper more rock at the, at the ramp where it meets the levee than at the tip of the yeah. berm. Yeah. So the water tends to go a little bit at an angle. Yeah, it? it needs to be at an angle. Uh, it's and that's hard. Right, to, right down the middle of the road. Right. And if we build that up a little bit more and very little over here, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll, we won't have as much erosion. Yeah. And, uh, do you know how many ton it calls for? Oh, uh, yeah, I just don't have that paperwork with me tonight. Okay. Let me look at that. Well, they gave me, uh, uh, FEMA gave me uh, cubic tons, I T believe is what they Tons or so. cubic yards? Yeah. Cubic yards. I, I think so. Yeah. yeah. On a square yard. Yeah. You know, yeah, well, that, some of that's been yard. screwed yeah. up, been messed up like square yards. Well, yeah. how many inches you want to a square yard? Yeah. And how, and a rock is only a 100 well, pounds of square inch. Yeah, but they, well, they calculated I mean, uh, two inches uh, for all. The, the the ramps and uh, that center road uh, forget the name since we changed it um, the, the the road going yeah from the city burn area yes. over okay. that's that's getting all done all the way up to the the, the big culverts the airport culverts okay from there over but we won't do that until we raise the middle road yeah and then that new right. gravel could go over the top yeah and we're going to use the rock off of our stockpile probably for yeah, the build that building yes yeah. <clears throat> Now we may need to, do we need to make an agree agreement with Bowman since they got that screener to screen some of that? That could be do, done pretty easy. Yeah. Uh, another thing. To get the bigger stuff out there. Well, we won't have all that soil in there if we screen well, it. Well, that's true. We won't have all that soil in there. Uh, there 
with that pile of white rock yeah. that got dumped out there. That was some reject, yeah. from, uh, not from Mississippi line, but going to Mississippi yeah. line. And uh, that may be able to work. We we talk. Me and Oki was talking sure. about that, and we'll know more in a few in a week or so. Yeah. Uh, but some of that might come in as a donation. So. Okay. And it'd probably You're be talking a, about that down there at the marina? No, there's a pile of white rock out there across from our shop. A oh, barge okay. load okay. Yeah, came in, it. yeah, and it got rejected. Sure. It was it was offloaded at a port, mm -hmm. and when they reloaded, they got some asphalt with it. Yeah. They cannot use that product sure. that yeah. they use in some of their, and it's a reject. Yeah. And uh, but we got to, we're, <clears throat> we'll we'll know more later on that yeah. later, and that may be part of the fill. Sure, there. that'll work. Yep. So put our dirty down and top, yeah. top it with that and then top that with some sure. grain, good granular. And that is a somewhat softer rock. It mm -hmm. doesn't weather good. Mm -hmm. So, so we it, it will go in first probably. Yeah. If we had a layer of that and if it was clean, you know, just clean rock and one at two inches is what it is. Mm -hmm. And if it was underneath the, the, the minus that we put on top, however it is from six, nothing to a foot and a half, yeah. I guess, or two feet. Yeah to make it level, mm -hmm. then that would tend to let water through back filter yeah. more than our pipes carry, sure. you know, excess that wouldn't hurt a thing. Yeah. And, okay, so we'll know more of that but, uh, okay. uh, shortly. Brad was going to do some talking to Okay. Okay. Um, anything else we got with that was... Uh, For that? Well, we, that so, okay. I don't know if this is old business or new business, but... Well, that's next, so it don't matter. We go into that, too. The, uh, we talked to their mechanics, and they're going to do a service on the generator. Just okay. to, uh, yeah. go through it, check the air sure. filters, fuel filters, whatever needs to be done. Well, that's probably service, good. it's probably up to it. it. Yeah, yeah, I probably need to And it now, also do the... The hydraulic pump on the rake, mm -hmm. that oil needs change and it's real milky. And, and they're going to do all that. We just got it fixed. And Thursday. You, when I talked to you, Vern, the other day, you said the ram, one of the rams was leaking on it. So I thought it was one, one of the, the cylinders. Yeah, yeah. I, cyl thought, I on, thought it was one on of the, the rake. Yeah, I thought it was one of the, the hoses leaking, but you're. No, it's the it's a cylinder itself. The packing okay. needs repacking. Yeah. Okay. And, and that we can do that while well, they have the service truck there to have all okay. the tools and right. we'll do it. And, I don't know what type, but we, yeah. sometimes on excavator cylinders, mm -hmm. the big ones, yeah. long ones, we send them to Indiana, but yeah. these, these are, are little ones. These are only that big kind sure. you can. Oh, yeah. Oh, I know uh, Pete Harnish, he's supposed to, I thought he was going to be down there last week, uh, but he's supposed to come and do that modification to that, um, two modifications to that rake. One was to put a plate in front of them rollers to be able to pull them leaves and stuff out from the corners. Yep. And the other one is one that uh, Oki and I uh, talked about. And he's going to put two beam, two uh, I beams on the other side of the concrete pad down at the end where we where we traverse uh, the rake down to to empty. He's going to put two I beams on the other side of the concrete pad there, and a bar out front, to, and, and then a um, probably a half half pipe on the front of that uh, uh, dumpster there, that roller dumpster. To where when we come up to it, we'll have a, a winch up there at the top. <laughs> we can I traverse back, hook up into that basket, and be able to dump that right onto a concrete pad that I'm going to be going in there at some point here. With the winch, okay. build it, put just, another just little winch. Just pick up one end of the yeah, box and, and dump it. Pick it up and go forward, and then it falls out and yeah. lay it back down. That will set around yeah. the back. Yeah. That way, if it's full and we ain't got no way, uh, no, nobody around to be able to unload it, if it's full, I can dump it and keep raking. Yeah. Right now, when it gets full, it's raking stuff. Well, yeah, yeah. And don't, it, it's, yeah, that's fine. We have to make sure 
if it's uh, uh, that it don't tip that thing off the rail, you know, the opposite yeah. end. But I think it has to be pretty close to. It. Yeah. So it just barely clears and. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Anything else? Um, we, well, I guess on the old business, we were down there quite a bit Saturday, mm -hmm. and we did get <clears throat> rake out. We did get the uh, one of the center screens out. Yeah, I went down Saturday night. Yep. The reason we didn't take that center norm, we kind of messed up. Uh, we couldn't get the center right, we couldn't get none of that clean. It just would not come off oh, there. God. So we closed the gate and equalized the pressure mm -hmm. in the center hallway. Well, once we did that, it raked right out. We yeah. got it all cleaned out. Okay, we're gonna pull that center rake out. Well, maybe we'll go let that water out and equalize that pressure less and we'll pull that grate out. We couldn't, we wouldn't lift the gate. Yeah. So then we got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we had to do the side one. We, yeah. so we well, wanted to get the thing out, get the water down. Hopefully, it'll drain the water out of that well, it, center it worked out, hallway. It, it worked out, and you know, by doing that number three there, uh, the tunnel number three, uh, it actually went to our, our benefit. We cleaned her out. Cleaned out on the other other side and made that curve to our channel that we cleaned last year. Or well, 19. Yeah, 19. We did the yeah. other side. Yeah. So, so it, it, it helped uh, clean some of that out. Uh, we do have about two feet, two feet of more silt in the intake. Oh, uh, and more than that, probably. Yeah. That, where we just I went last down there year. Saturday <clears throat> after I got off work, and uh, uh, I took a few pictures down there. And, it had really it all down. washed out good, but yeah. the rain we got the other night. Yeah. It didn't help us. No. Everything that was laying up on our benches yeah. is now back inside. We could have got almost three quarters of it cleaned up, yeah. but it's all inside now. Yeah. It's a mess. No. So. Yeah. And it's going to continue every rain, every every spring. But we got to start on it anyway. We got rid of the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we got it. We're 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 set, you know. Ready for anything that can happen. We just got to clean it out when, yeah. we, when the river, preferably when the river is below about eight feet, yeah. seven to eight feet. Yeah. That way it'll wash everything right through yeah. and gone, uh, rather than settle out in the well, discharge. Well, after I left the levee on, on Saturday, I went on down to the marina and looked at that end, or the discharge down there. Man, that is really cleaned out now. It's yeah. Getting nice and wild. Yeah. It's widening yeah. out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of dirt left there. Yep. A lot of dirt. A lot of cubic yards. Okay, and, and, and Brian, we, we need to get you down there and up, up to speed on some of the stuff we're doing on that. So whenever, I mean, before you get busy planting, we need to spend a little time. We don't want you to do that you're pretty soon. Pretty soon? <laughs> Probably the next couple weeks. Yeah, I may need you <clears throat> to learn some of that so I can go on vacation this year. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and so if, if some of us are out of town or yeah, not yeah. here, that, that Okie okay, don't have to be down there by himself or something, or any of us. I might leave too. <laughs> yeah, you can leave too. You're entitled to it. You're entitled to it. All right. Anything else we got uh, under new or old business? I guess we'll go to oh, well new oh, business. I guess new business we would have whatever you guys <laughs> approval of the the easement deed. Easement deed. So there is a need to replace the water line that runs along Main Street, along the Main Street Bridge. Uh, instead of running it along the bridge, the idea is to take it out parallel with the sewer line. Well, portion of that's going to go into the uh, the Joint Levy Commission property. So the engineer feels it would be nice and it would cover any issues in the future if we get an easement. So since this board, by agreement, is in charge of the Joint Levy Commission property, we're coming before you now to get an easement. A temporary construction easement of 30 feet wide and then a construction easement, or a finished easement of 10 feet wide. Should be in paperwork. 
Okay, and where, by the, what, by what, where's it at again? North Main Street at the bridge, North Gallery Creek. Oh, North Gallery Creek Bridge, and the easement goes? Goes to the east, so you've got, uh, you've got a Across the creek? Across the creek, we're gonna go under the creek, but yeah, it's crossing the creek. Okay. So we have a, 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 a six inch line that right now is hanging off the bridge. We hope it keeps hanging there until we're done with construction, because that would cause problems otherwise. But we were looking at extending that six foot, but taking it around underneath the, the, uh, the creek and then rerouting it back into the, the waterway. Will it be close to that uh, sewer pipe going across? Okay. It has to be 20, has to be at an angle and a, and a certain, I think, 20 feet away. Well, 10, I thought it was 10. I think it's 10 feet away. I think there, it's you know, 10, certain, minimum, minimum of 10, it right. could be further. Right, but, so I, uh, I'm not sure how deep the sewer is, but we're gonna be at that angle and then we'll be to the uh, to the east of that. Right, right. So they got any brush they're gonna leave in the creek, are they? <laughs> so hopefully we just dig a big hole down underneath it. We don't worry about it. What do they recommend to go depth under the? I haven't seen the plans like yet, so I'm not sure what the uh, what the depth requirement is. I mean, it's got to be under flow line quite a bit. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we're doing it there, and we're also doing it up on Fourth Street, so we can get that rerouted as well. Yeah. No brush. No brush. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. That. So that that that's what this is here. Then I, I got to sign these minute if we approve it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And I don't see what that's got anything to do with us, really. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's well, the that levy city, district doesn't really own that. The Joint Levy Commission does. So I don't want to cross property and get in trouble. Let's see if that's where I'm thinking it is. Okay. Uh, well, whatever it takes, it don't matter. Joint sure, Levy Commission owns the property on the north side of that creek. We on the south side. City has the park on the south side. That's the difference. It's not in the. It, we took it. Did we take it out from the Joint Levy Commission to what? What was that one meeting we had a few months ago? That was for the uh, survey. So we convey property to the Fish and Wildlife Service, which is, you know, Doug is working on that right now, trying to get that divided out uh, and subdivided so we can take it to the Planning and Zoning Commission and then to the Board of Alderman. And, and then whenever Fish and Wildlife have the area available to, to do that or the time available to do it, then we'll convey it. Okay. Okay. All right. So, so what you need is a, a we need to vote and approve or yeah. disapprove yeah. and sign. Yeah. Uh, talking about get this sign. Yep, that's it. Yep, across the street from yes, here. Well, we have to. Yeah, we have to maintain. Yep. This is where we're talking about. This is down by the old mill. Yeah. And so they better come out and across the creek. Like this is the wrong way to go. Okay. They fill the wiener lot. Is that where the old lumber yard was? That's a wiener lumber. That's, I guess that. Well, I thought the railroad owned 100 foot each direction. Or they, no, not that, not that way. Not that way. Just down here. Okay. Right there. That's what they're talking about. Well, will it be? It'll be parallel with the yeah. with the sewer. Do you know how many? And, and you think it's about 20 feet from it? It's 10 to 20 feet. Okay. Well, then it's not. It's right there by the bridge because yeah. that's yeah. sewer. That's an inverted. What they call an inverted sewer. It <coughs> down and dips under and up and over. And the way that works is when this gets ahead. This, uh, this stays filled, but when it gets ahead, it forces fills it. and it sucks out. It, it, so I don't have a pump. I left that one. Huh. It's inverted, sir. That's the only one I've, we've ever put in. I guess I have never seen one. I've, I've installed lip stations at, at different places. But I've inverted, never sir. seen an inverted one. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So, we need a motion then for approval for me signing this. No, I'll make a motion. We accept the uh, easement. Okay. Second. Okay. Motion on the floor, <laughs> second by Sue. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Sides have it. Okay. okay. Bern, I got one more thing on before you end new business. Uh, I did talk to Nick today about that water along the tracks, a mosquito nest yeah. down by me, and he is going to, first chance he gets, take his drone and fly that, and he will get us a, a printout for hopefully our next meeting, he'll have that, yeah. and then okay. we can talk more about it. But that is, I took care of that this morning, and he's gonna get on it, so. Okay, good, good. That'd be another <coughs> small project to get rid of that water. Mm -hmm. Okay, or, uh, it's a mosquito nest for all of the right. south end of town. I mean, it's horrible down there. Yep. So maybe we can get that water drained. Okay. And uh, another thing on the uh, uh, new business here we have is the St. Jan Gravel Classic, and that's that bike race, I guess. Yeah, you guys gave kind of a generic approval last time. We had a meeting uh, just looking for formal approval. April 9th is when it'll take place. It will start down on Market Street, work its way down Main to Division, and then uh, uh, Stormy Crawford Way, and then up on the levee. And then it's a 20 and a 40 and a 78 mile yes. bike race down into Perry County. Does, so, I mean, does it go down the Farmer's Levee also? Yes. Yeah. Down at the in, marina? Leave at the marina and go? I don't think it goes, no, we're not going down the marina. We'll take, uh, well, we, I'm not riding it. It, it, goes, down <laughs> to, it goes down the full levee to 61, down 61. Oh, our levee from, 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 <laughs> from north to south? Yeah. yeah. And down 61 and then down the big field road and get on the levee at Caskey probably, huh? Yeah, I think it's down okay. there. I was under the standing. I had a meeting with Matt, Matt Hartman. Oh, did you? Uh, okay. Last yeah. week. Okay. It's my organization in conjunction with uh, St. John Amateur Radio Club and Perryville Radio yeah. uh, Club. We're going to be doing the communications for that. Right. Right now. Right. So, um, so we looked at maps and everything, <clears throat> and they're going to send me the program that they're using after the 13th or 15th. But I'm, I'm actually meeting in Perryville tomorrow night uh, to discuss this very thing. Okay. Okay. Uh, so um, my understanding was it was coming down our north levee, jumping over down Marina Road there and getting on the farmer's levee. And they will be on the, the farmer's levee clear down to Kaskaskia. They may be. Last that I saw, my understanding. they may have, they may have rerouted. It. Last I saw, we were jumping on 61 to go to New, Bur New Bourbon and then take those back roads. Yeah, because they was uh, what we talked about uh, last week, uh, well, last Sunday, a week ago Sunday. Excuse me. Um, they, don't, they don't want on the road any more than possible. Right. And so they they planned on going down the Farmers Levee and getting off the Cas 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 or Caskey Island. And then making the jump over to uh, St. Mary's. St. Mary's levee. They'll probably ride the Caskey levee to St. Mary's. Yes. Then. Yeah. That was our understanding, but we're going to be going over stuff more tomorrow night, and, and then we got another meeting with Matt before the event uh, to finalize things. I'm glad you guys are helping because it's it's. I mean, it's a long trek. Yeah. 80 miles round trip, 40 miles right. round trip. But it's getting deep in Perry County. There's some rough trip yeah. down too. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, on the average speed, I think we're supposed to be around 12 to 15 miles per hour. Is what they're anticipating. They ain't gonna do that down that rock levee by the marina. Yeah, some of these guys got $10,000 bikes. <laughs> I got a $25,000 side-by-side and I can't go that fast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I brought that up too and I thought, okay. <laughs> Isn't the so I made pretty rough that down there that, it? Well, I don't think you ride a bike on that. Rock, right? Yeah. That day of that event, uh, I may be, if it's with the levees approval, I may be using our, our side by side uh, for that because I'm I'm monitoring the levee portion. Okay. 
Yeah, no, but that's right there. He uses that's what it's for. Him. For anybody on the left. Yeah. It, it needs a good ride. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it needs to be limbered up anyway. Yeah. Well, I've already got a radio in it, and uh, I've got issues with mine. I'm not sure I'm going to have mine fixed before that event. And we've already got a two-way radio installed in the levees side by side, so that will yeah, bring that up. <laughs> Talk about that a little. Yeah. Okay. Also, when we were down there Saturday, uh, Tom and I, we got to looking around at that shed we got, and with your needs for your radio equipment and your, and our needs for the levee to have that when the time of the floods, we thinking about doing something, making either maybe, we don't know yet, we're in the early stages, but we want to put a, a bigger, much bigger, uh, we need to get with you and visit with it a little bit about what your needs are. Mm -hmm. And we like to either maybe upsize that one or add something or do something to where we can have that equipment down there and you have it there. Mm -hmm. And we like to do it inside that fence. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're, got something going on that and we'll be talking and we'll be in committee I guess and bring something to the board here pretty soon on it. Yeah we'd like to get to go ahead to look for something and get with you what we need if we have to special make it uh, that could get started on it. Yeah. We're, we got room for a 40. That one's 14 by 20. Mm -hmm. We could move it and put a 40 by 14 or 40 by 12, being we're gonna be a lot longer. Yeah. We could get a little narrower, probably wouldn't hurt us. Mm -hmm. uh, our side by side would fit this way. That, mm -hmm. That's one reason uh, you'd be filling that hole up, we'd have to have a door on the oh, side yeah, instead absolutely. of the end, because you'd be right up against the fence. Yeah. So that's something you got. Can we extend that? You got to okay us, or yeah. Can we extend that? That could that be fence? due. However, the levee's bending there. Yeah. And the fence have to bend because yeah. if we go another ten foot, we're <clears throat> maybe up on the levee a foot and a oh, half yeah. or two feet. Yeah. yeah so we gotta be gotta yeah. bend the fence a little bit at an angle. Sure. Our building don't bend like that. Yeah. But. Uh, well, oh, that'd be great because uh, we we for such a small organization we we have a lot of equipment and. Uh, you know, we're no longer in the city building. Uh, I went down, uh, met with Happy, uh, I guess it was a weekend past, not this past weekend, but prior. And we moved uh, all, all of our equipment and supplies out. And that's a lot of stuff to move yeah. Yeah. on last minute notice. Yeah. Well, Vern and I talked and we, we decided that you were very instrumental in what we got through FEMA and mm -hmm and the core by all your records you kept, all the levee walks, all the hours walked by all the volunteers. Well, we're that's, very meticulous. I, I that's the least we that. can do and, and to keep you, keep you happy and to keep you there and continue to do that. And it's to our benefit, it's the it city's is, benefit. Yeah, it's the levee in the city and the whole community. I'm sure we can figure out something. Yep. Well, I appreciate that. We'd be at a <laughs> and I guess a square good. building, you and I, and mm -hmm. we can all, we'll help you yeah. vamp it up, and yeah. put insulation yeah. in or whatever, we can do that. I was already looking at options myself, uh, how to properly take care of my people during these operations. Well, that, that's, that a, that's, that's a big thing for me. That. That, you know, my people are, uh, it, it doesn't run without my people. Yeah. I mean, other people could step in and do my job. I don't think they'd do it as good. Uh, but people come to follow me. That's why we get such a turnout. Uh, and so my people are important and taking care of them, get, being able to get them out of the heat when it's when when they're overheating during the summer, or getting them out of the cold when it's when they're freezing. You know, that's, that's two, two uh, priorities for me. And now, uh, so I was already looking at options after I moved my stuff out of the city building. Okay. Well, we got something started here, so we're Great. gonna continue on with it after a few meetings. Okay. Uh, Surely before we need okay. it. Okay. <laughs> Not to change the subject here and go back, but Happy this easement is the St. Jen Joint Levy Commission, as it says here. Again, the 
this board is in charge of what goes on with the St. Joint, Genevieve Joint Levy Commission. That was what was written in the contract. And that was what just, what, one of the things that was discussed at the Joint Levy Commission meeting that we had the last time was that, <coughs> is that Levy District 3 pretty much took over all responsibility of, of that. Oh, okay. Problem. So that's, that's what that did, transferred it to us here. Yeah. Okay, because that was two different separate entities totally. Right. Right. Well, you had three entities together because you also had the Board of Aldermen that were a portion of the Joint Levy Commission. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Well, you did that when you had to reorganize and bring everybody back, representatives, back for the Fish and Wildlife. Right. Yeah. Right. That's when that was done. Yeah. Right. I put our mowing and spraying on there because um, we were contracted with Cut and Edge for three years and it's up this year. Contract up, or? it's got to be put back out for bid. Do you want to do three years again? I would think it, 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 it gives them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem. I don't. It didn't have a problem with cutting edge. No, no it, neither, it, neither one did a perfect job. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. but if the contract's up, then don't we legally have to put it back out? For uh, yes. If anything, it's probably going to go up with the price of fuel and everything yeah. else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they need. They got to have that well, option too. And from yeah. time to time, we've always added extra areas that needed more. A little. We bit, can do that. We got yeah. a little more to add, but we've taken off. The whole length of that levy only they only mow it once or twice yeah. instead of every time right because yeah. rick makes hay on that now it's all the way up to and the road. does a good job too. yes he does i'm very happy with rick he gets that hay made and yep. all that yep. okay all right um uh, okay and then okay we are talking about mowing and spraying that's the issue and you're gonna bid that yeah okay so we motion, need that in the form of motion that's if you need one, I'll make a motion. We'll put it out for bid again, and I'll second a motion. All right. Motion on the floor, second it. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, the ayes have it. Okay. I'll take care of these two issues. Yes. Okay, public participation. We got some people here interested in talking to us. Yeah, uh, my name is Matt Thomas. I'm the new president of the St. Jen Flying Club. Uh, I took over for Mr. Reminger, and this is Doug Hopkins and Leon Bosler. They're my backup. They're those certified pilots, you know, in case you guys have any questions. But uh, we're looking at adding on to the runway for safety, number one, and number two for uh, potential new members, you know, larger planes, tourism, you know, things of that nature. So we had an incident last summer where we had a little plane that got, I mean, he was a foot away from getting his wing tip in that corn. And if that would have happened, that would have been very ugly. So then you got FAA down here, you know, all those people crawling all over, you know, and we're talking, you know, a matter of inches and it could have been. You know, very, very bad. So we felt the need that, you know, by adding on a little bit as a, a buffer zone would be a, a good idea. Where, where you've got this marked out at? So that's uh, 50 foot to the east and then an yeah. additional 400 to the south. Where does that on? Here's the, here's the, yeah, I've got it right here. Oh, okay. Uh, where does that put us with flood water? in relation to that when we're maximizing our use of the floodplain there. But as far as the flood water is Does it ever get up that high? Yeah, it gets on our yeah. airfield. Yeah. Okay. Bernie, I think last meeting we had uh, um, you mentioned something like uh, we ought to put in our request for some uh, land because uh, the city's thinking of doing something else with it or you're thinking of doing something else with that farm ground out there? Well, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I mean, uh, the Fish and Wildlife is wanting more ground. Are they not happy? Or well, I think they just want to stay on, on the outside of the levee. outside of the levee at this point. They, I mean, they've got the trees and that that they put in on the west side, but I thought mostly they're looking at the east side. Yeah, okay. No, I don't matter. See, that won't affect us flooding. Yeah, it ain't gonna be. 
I mean, it won't affect well, when our we're on the flood stage, detention I, basin. That's a, a yeah. grass field, so when we're on the flood stage, it's too wet to get anything. Does that, anyway. the, the, do you know exactly where Niagara's owned down there? Yeah, uh, he owns on the city side of uh, the runway. I don't know how far down it goes. That was a uh, Braun. Was it Braun or Brown? Earl, Earl Braun. Was that who's on the, the, the west side? Right. So we figured we'd ask if that was even a possibility that we could, you know, get a nice buffer zone and, you know, potential new people and, and current people have, you know, confidence other than landing in a shoebox surrounded by corn. And you have all the trees to the north behind the dump. So these guys could better explain, you know, that affects their approach. Well, if you had that 400 foot to the south, that gives you, you know, a little more of a better feeling sure. taking up, taking off. And, you know, oh, yeah. Let me mention a little bit of the, the history of this. The Flying Club has always uh, run this little airstrip, maintained it and everything. Um, in the years, years past, we begged the city to help us with mowing a little bit, but we're ahead enough now with membership that we can take care of that. And um, but uh, this has been an attraction for a lot of pilots from around Illinois and Missouri, mostly in Illinois, to come over here. They like to just come over and order a, a, a meal or something or walk into town and or picnic right there under the little pavilion. And uh, um, we've, uh, through the years, we've gotten word uh, from some of the restaurants in town. They appreciate that people come in and they don't mind even walking downtown all the way. Um, so. The, the, the length of it is 1,600 foot now, and that works for most little light airplanes. But to make it uh, um, easier for some of the, the four-place airplanes to get in there, what we're asking to do is go from 1,600 foot, or suggesting to go 1,600 foot to 2,000 foot. And uh, also, the idea of making it a little bit wider is like Matt said, that corn gets pretty darn high and uh, close. And we'd like to have some. You do a good job. We'd like to have some vis visibility the off the runway, out towards where the pattern comes in, out towards the river, if that corn's up high. Also, the, uh, there have been occasions when the wind is the wrong direction coming over the top of high corn. It can really mess up a plane's takeoff and uh, landing. In fact, one time wasn't here. It was in Germany. I took off in a narrow corn patch, and, and uh, the wind caught me as soon as I got above the corn and dipped a wing to where I thought I was going in the corn. So to widen it out could help that situation. Plus, we'd have visibility of uh, uh, tra uh, traffic uh, pa people in the traffic pattern out towards the river. So something else you guys were talking about earlier, you're raising the road, the yes. Stormy Crawford Way. Yes. So that would... Not, we're talking after not, the not burn there. area. Oh, not there. Okay. Between okay. the city burn area, that not the yeah. first curve at the burn area, but the next curve okay. from there, that's straight away to the levee. Mm -hmm. There, where the river runs across, there's a couple of big dips, mm -hmm. and in the past, it has flushed through some from either direction, north or south, depending on what kind of rain event we have here. Wash gravel this way, and then it, it turn around and go back and wash gravel the other way. It's scattered. <laughs> and we, we've done that for about 20 years now, but this last year or so, two years ago, a lot year, uh, we, It's getting better. We improved uh, uh, where the water can get in and out faster without that. And then the only thing we want to do now is make it level across there. If it runs across level, it won't wash, but with them dips, it just takes everything out, or has in the past. So <clears throat> that's uh, that's the only improvement we're talking about on the road there. So like I said, first, we're just asking, you know, if it's even a possibility, but first and foremost, safety, and then second, now that we're a national park, and, you know, no offense to the previous administration, but through Facebook advertisement, things of that nature, you get people flying up from Arkansas, you know, I get more members, city gets more tourism, you know, that's a win-win. So what does it take on our part? Well, just for us to, to be able to acquire the ground, we, we would have to figure out the grading and, you know, grass planting and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, so, I mean, it, on a, an agreement of net 50, 50 foot from existing property line to the east and 400 to the south. How much more along the edge here? 50. That's 50. 50. That's that red line or purple line. 
And how wide is it now? 100. That's right. So it'd be 150. Yeah. Okay. And you farm that, Brian? Yeah, that'd make a big. Is that your property or a uh, St. Jen, uh, St. Jen City. So is that in our? It's part of your your uh, My storage area. Yeah. So that it affects what you can hold. Right. What you do. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're you know as a city, I'm not going to say yeah we'll we'll be happy to give you an easement there. I, I don't want this want this group to look at that and say yeah we we agree that this can be a beneficial use of that area and we'll have to reduce the contract with the Kurtzes since they're the ones that uh, lease that property to to. Uh, Okay. I'd have to look at the area. Is that is that fairly level right there? Uh, on the um, south end of it, it's a little lower than yeah. the north end. Yeah. And actually, where that extension is to the towards the river, the wider area down on that end, it's uh, gets pretty low down in that area. See, that, that's that's the only problem we have. Because if we raise that, we lose our part of our storage capacity. No. no. Not if we take dirt from that storage detention. Our detention is 507 yes. acres. And if we take dirt from here and put it here, it doesn't affect it. Well, yeah. That's what I was hoping we could ask for, because uh, 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 that that stays pretty wet down there on that off the side of the runway. Yeah. And now, that we, that is a major... Uh, and when the Gabbery Creek, when we have flash flood, the two Gabberies and Valley Spring, meet and that's a main entryway to what we call the North Pool as I explained up here. Earlier uh, the North Pool and this is the road we washed out. We're fixed we're gonna have that fixed where we we're not concerned about it with the additional pipe we put in and a and a V transfer here to let water in from this slew right across right across here and then it comes down this drainage ditch. And you're talking just extending this down. I can see now the property is here, but but right here is a, the flash flood waters come in this way, and, and they also back up these ditches and come in through this piping system and this new channel we cut. So it's not affecting us at all, and and I don't see no problem on it. What do we need to do? Make a vote on it, or approve it, or disapprove that it's yeah, you'd fine, to, or you'd have to vote on it. it yeah. Apparently, not our property, but no. we have jurisdiction. It's the city's property. Flooding rights. It, I don't see it as You're interfering wrong. with our detention base. Well, well as long as we're taking I mean, acres, soil to raise that, yeah, man, yeah, I'm I'm taking the soil that. out of our yeah. Yeah. floodplain, yeah. whatever it is, to it's move it's there. Enough. But no, you're, you you're absolutely correct. The bottom line. The bottom line, your, your whole, with, with the existing runway, we have to borrow from your existing runway to make the, it, doesn't have to be level, it don't have to be perfectly level. It have to be perfectly level, the only issue is it stays pretty wet on the lower end uh, after it. Yeah, so what, are you planning on filling that? Or leveling that, I guess, is the Maybe way. Maybe in between seasons of, you know, is this moving some dirt around to fill in the, the low spots? Yeah. You know, we're not talking about. You're what I think it would take term. is some is some uh, material out of your pond area over there moved over to essentially the side of the runway on the south side. <laughs> well, and it's like Vern says, and I agree with him. As you long what. as we're taking material from our existing site to fill in, yeah, just then we're not we're just changing where the water flood, floods at rather than taking away from uh, our floodplain from if we bring soil from the outside. Do you have an idea how many cubic yards of feed? No. As oh, we went out there over this past winter and, you know, looked and, we, you know, just the, the low spots. That way planes don't hit puddles, things of that nature. So, I mean, we're not talking tons of dirt. We're talking, you know, with a little small tractor just grading it out somewhat level. Yeah. I I'd say the that. Uh, <clears throat> that end of the, uh, the runway off the side of it is probably uh, 500, 600 feet. Uh, and then 50 foot wide, that's probably a foot lower. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, the thought that crossed my mind, we got dirt coming out of them ditches up there at some time in the future. That wouldn't be a bad yeah, place to dump it, but we're going to have some brush in there. Because it's already, we know when the creek jumps out in there, it's already taking dirt away. Mm -hmm. right? And you'd probably be better off bringing it in from somewhere else instead of losing more dirt. Does it cross? Does the 400 feet cross that swale there? <laughs> no. We need to okay. no. It's before, before it gets to that. that under contract? But yeah, some of that I needs to probably be side. filled, but that'll fill the I know the south back side. Out. I think both sides are really. Okay, that's what I would say. Both take, sides is under contract. I think Bowman's have the yeah. farm. Yeah, both both sides of the channel. I thought they did. So, are you guys cleaning that 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 slough that runs behind to the west? Are you guys <laughs> at some point? Yeah. Trees? We're, we're going to have to. We're going to have to get them trees out of there totally. And we were we thought about using them one of them brush hogs and choppers and, and chop it down, but that would give us a worse problem than brush. the leaves do yeah. down at our <coughs> at our grids on our grids at our intake. Yeah. So. <laughs> we Take left them thumb. grow, and now they're going to have to come out. out. So there's going to yeah. be some wood in that. I mean, there's going to be some, well, we can keep the wood separate, but yeah. there be, uh, anyway, we, we're going to have to clean and open that ditch up uh, sometime soon. If we Is could, behind the runway. Is that sift in? Could we leave, uh, yeah, from the field. leave them yeah. about, you know, three, four foot high to act as a, you know, a trash catch? Because when that field backs up, it kind of spills over. It don't. It don't matter a whole lot. Uh, we, we've uh, nature's going to. They're going to grow and they're going to get big and they're going to get too big and they're going to hold it eventually. So we're going to have to clean it, okay. maintain it, maybe every ten to twenty years. That's the way I see it. It's been over it's twenty-two on, years. It's on our there. list. Oh yeah. It's on did our we list. ever? Did we dug. I think we dug that out one time. Who's here? Long enough. Yeah. I guess no way. <laughs> You're the only one here from that point. I think, I know we've Position. been through there with an excavator and we had some uh, silt in there and cleaned yeah. it out. Yeah, because you went through the same program that I was trying to get in 18. To yeah. come in, come in right. and do a bunch of this work. Yeah, and we're going to have a major project in cleaning out Valley Spring Branch to uh, uh, six to one one of these days. No, so no, there'll, there'll be a good size that is a mess. project. <laughs> So, we used to have a okay. problem down there where uh, kids uh, we don't know take their cars right. down the runway, tear up the runway and everything. So it's beneficial to us if the uh, police can see that area from right. the road. Yeah. Uh, well, we, we, um, We're all for we don't like the, the, the brush growing there and get, you know, the bigger the trees, the more brush we get there. It's pretty big. The problem we got. Well, it restricts the water flow. Into coming during flash floods, it restricts the it restricts the water flow to certain degrees coming into our pool and then pumping it back out. Okay. So Do we have to make a motion and approval that uh, we, we can approve their expansion yeah. here and see it as not affecting our yeah. detention or our yeah. our storage at all? Something to that effect, huh? Yeah. That was basically what we need happening. Yeah, because you, like, you know, we need some approval from you all before we move into you know, either doing an easement or something for them to be able to use that property. Because uh, we need to we need to locate where that is. Yeah. So Mr. Kurtz knows where to put the corn or not put the corn. Um, and I'm, you're getting pretty soon to put stuff in, right? Yeah, it would be another month and a half probably. Okay. I'm not sure. Yeah, we're going to put beans in there this year, so it'll be okay. around the first part of May. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we need to make a motion. To Any motion or you take a vote? Take a vote or whatever. We'll make a motion in a second and then vote on it. And vote on it. Yeah, okay. We got we have legal counsel here. I always holler. <laughs> <laughs> he's our he's our guide. <laughs> so okay, a motion. Yeah, make a motion. We at least try to accept it and vote on it. Yeah, uh, but how should it read? Is my question. So you're looking for 50 feet. 50 foot to the east of 400. So we just call it an extension and widening of the uh, of the oh, runway would have right. a, a exactly. negative impact on our storage, and and we have no objections to something like something like. That. Okay. Well, 
wrong with him. Right? Okay. Is that what you see? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what he's doing. Yeah. Make it a motion. Yeah, long as I make a motion, we. What do you do? Okay. That we accept it or that we vote on it? Well, we want to. Well, you have to vote on it. You have to make the motion. We'll make a motion in a second, but yeah. how do we want it worded? Uh, that we, you, we that, see no negative that, uh, effect on our on our after, detention after, or after any after discussion uh, that where it has no effect on us by taking the soil from the inside and just remove redistributing it. Uh, so your motion would be that uh, to grant the easement of specified dimensions. Uh, 50 feet to the east and what'd you say? 400, 400 feet. feet to the south of the existing runway, and that would be your motion. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, uh, it's actually, yeah. It, the, it's actually that the 400 feet is actually by 150 feet wide. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Whatever the dimensions are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Motion on the floor by Oki. I'll second a motion. Motion second by Brian. And you got the verbiage right? I think so. Okay. <laughs> got a good well, you have to put the, the dimensions in there for a legal standpoint. Right. Oh, yeah, I've got them. Yeah. They're extending at 400 feet by 150 feet wide and uh, widening the existing levee, I mean the landing strip by 50 feet. Okay. Can I ask, is that an easement for this, or you're approving the city to give an easement? Or, or the city no. has to give the what they're approving is that is that section to be used for the yeah. for well, the airport. It's still going to have to go through the city board yeah. all we, to get approved for an actual easement to be signed. Yeah. Okay. This group has to approve that size and that it's not going to affect the... Uh, our storage Basically, it gives you, we have jurisdiction over for flight, for detention basin, a federally mandated detention basin, 500 and some acres. And we see there's no impact on, negative impact on okay. ours. And we we approve that you can do whatever you wish, need to do. We're on farm grass. <laughs> well, and you can move, you can move, you can move dirt, but you can't import yeah, dirt from small. the hill and put it down there because that's, we can't. I mean, that's part of our regulation. No, <laughs> you no can't no import any dirt there. Right. You can if import. We flood it. We can flood it. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. And we still can flood. It. That's our flood. Yeah. Yeah. Moving it from here to here doesn't. If it's there, it doesn't change you guys. In the flood no. basin, that don't affect. And it doesn't affect any of your federal regulations. Yeah. Nope. No. No. Okay. Not at all. Okay. So there, and it don't and don't impact us at all negatively. So. Okay, the motion on the floor and second. All in favor, any further discussion? All in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Ayes have it. Okay. Anything else we have uh, under public participation is where we are. What is our... What is our plans for, our current plans for cleaning out the existing brush in the intake right now? Well, we're, I like to see the river get you know, a little bit lower. Yes. Yeah, I like to see it under, like under say, eight, eight feet. Yeah. So what we do there and stir up and mm -hmm. flush through, don't sit in backwater and flop right outside. Well, that's to get my concern, it. and that was my concern after opening the, the grates, was that if something got caught up, and we do have a couple downstream uh, that got caught up, yeah, well, so we'll have to pull that out. Uh, minor, very minor. Right. Uh, so, but yeah, I, I looked at it Saturday, and it, it was at 10 feet that day. The, the river was at 10 feet Saturday. Yeah, yeah. And so our water through the discharge was still flowing downward. Uh, it has The river has to be at 12 to be equal. 11, 11. Okay, is it 11? Mm -hmm. uh, 
but uh, to be equal from the pump station to river. Uh, so we were still flowing to the river. Right. Saturday. And we had about an eight foot head or 10 foot head yeah. when we started. Yeah. And when we pulled the grate, we had probably a five or six foot head. Yeah. And it really sucked through and it, it rumbled all the way Well, through. when I was down there, it was all down. Uh, you probably had a foot of water running through. Uh, and it, it was flowing fine, but yeah, there's a lot of debris down there. Oh, yeah. It sucked a lot through, too. Yeah. And a lot went all the way to yeah. New Orleans, I guess, by now. Yeah. yeah, we told Brad yesterday, Vern and I, to figure by next week we're going to go to 17 feet by Friday. Mm. Yeah. But then a steady drop. So at the end of next week, plan on getting us an excavator. Mm -hmm. He had it in the schedule to bring us that one, yeah. but the the job wouldn't let them. They just yeah. kept something coming about, and they couldn't get it out of there. Well, I understand that. Everybody's story, but uh, we got on schedule with Brad. To right. Okay. Brad come down there and run the latter part of next week. He, they're going to do something mm -hmm. and clean that out. He came came down there with a, a service truck, and the one we couldn't pull a week mm -hmm. earlier. We had enough stuff taken off there. We pulled it with that service truck, the yeah. same service truck. Yeah. I guess it was the same. Well, we lowered the water six foot. Yeah. That's what we had put out. That day we were down there, spent four hours down there. We had four, uh, nine feet ahead. Well, oh, you no. had more than that. That, that bottom grade's 12 foot long, and it was. Well, I know. We measured it. Uh, yeah. and, uh, we the had, top one was 14. Yeah, and then the bottom one we never did really make. I don't know if the bottom was 12 or 14. I can't yeah. remember. I, I thought, thought they were. Both I thought 14. they were both 13. I thought it was both 12, but hell, I know we measured a 14 foot one, and so I. Yeah. I'm out I of think it. they're all the same. I, I, I know that's it's 28 feet to the bottom. Well, that's that's the angle. Yeah. The slide angle. Yeah. You're probably right then. Okay. Any further discussion? Um, I know you got to go play cards. Well, Dang right. We have to go to session. <laughs> oh, we got to go to closed session. Okay. We'll have to go to closed session, uh, executive session on the agenda as pursuant to section 601, 610.021, which is legal action litigation. If agreed, if so agreed, that by the board. So. We'll need a motion to go and close the session. We'll take a little bit of a break. Then we'll come back and close the session. I make a motion to enter into closed session. I'll second it. Motion from the floor and a second for closed session. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed?